Hey guys, it's uh, been a long time since we've done an update video. Uh, been really busy for one reason or another. Uh, so I thought we'd do another one. We are just about to complete five months and uh, I don't think uh, too much has changed since the last video except you'll see all of the coralline algae now growing on the back and over the wave maker which uh, I quite like I know some people are happy to scrape it off but it looks uh, quite natural as far as I'm concerned uh, trying to think if anything has happened not particularly we still have this cyanobacteria uh, the amount really varies on the amount of light that's coming through the window obviously you try and keep the curtains pulled as much as possible and uh, that helps hugely. The Pulsing Xenia that looked really sickly has uh, really come along quite nicely. We've got a big piece there, smaller piece there in the middle. Uh, for some reason we have a little piece down there and uh, again another big piece up the top. I'm going to have to move the clam, I suspect, is just been very slightly covered by the Xenia. Uh, clam's doing fine, we give him a little feed uh, every uh, couple of weeks of the clam food. We have a big patch, for some reason, developed down here over the last couple of days. And again, we've had the curtains open a bit more than normal. Uh, oh, we did have a very strange event. The uh, feather duster, which is pretty much inside at the moment, uh, just stopped coming out uh, for the well, best part of two weeks. Um, we were thought, you know, it's dead for absolutely sure it's dead. <laughs> and in fact, on one tank cleaning uh, day, I tried to. Um, to actually remove it. Oh, you can just see it emerging again now. Uh, but I couldn't really budge it because it was kind of wedged under the rock that you can see there. Um, so I left it and it must have been a few days later and I was sat here watching things and I was absolutely sure some of the little bristles were protruding from the top. Now I just thought the tube had died back and perhaps the fish were nibbling it um, but the day after it was out it was smaller than it was before um, but it's got bigger as you can see there it, I don't think it looks much different to uh, how it was when we first got it but I just wonder if that happens uh, I wonder how many people have removed them assuming they're dead when they're actually not um, so yeah it's very very interesting. The little tube anemone has moved itself a little bit closer to the rock. It's uh, not really fully out at the moment because the lights are on. The torch <laughs> continues to go from strength to strength. Um, generally everything is doing uh, just fine. You can see the yeah, fire shrimp just down there at the back. All of the snails are around and doing their thing, and everything's uh, been okay. Uh, still haven't got the doser wired up, just been really busy. Um, the Fluval G6 is working uh, just fine, although it's just started flashing up that the chemical and uh, mechanical have expired, so that needs some. Uh, work done tomorrow when I change the water. I've been doing pretty much near 20 litre water changes uh, once a week or thereabouts and uh, the actual uh, water quality tests have I've really dropped down. Um, you know, everything is pretty stable. The Senai will alert me to any issues got to change the card on that. I bought three and I've just run out. So a couple of things to buy. Uh, 
um, yeah that's about it really so five months in and uh, I think it's still looking good the toad store in the middle is having a bit of a sulk today but normally that's in full bloom probably will be in, a, in an hour or two it does its own thing as it likes but I think we're looking okay still quite like the Coraline algae building up everywhere and uh, yeah sorry it's been so long for an update but hopefully I'll start making a few more uh, videos now uh, as you probably saw the other video I've just put up we have a, a long power cut uh, due tomorrow and I have bought a petrol generator to get us over that problem and I'm hoping I can power of the full marine setup, the UView box and telly, and then the uh, router, and uh, laptop, and uh, various other items in the lounge, so I can get on with uh, with work as normal. Um, could have bought a battery and an inverter, but I don't think they would last as long as I needed. They're more for uh, short power outages. Uh, and we get them occasionally, but generally not for very long. So I still may do a, you know, a short-term battery backup system. You can see one of the turbo cells up the uh, up the back there. So yeah, that's it. Everything's uh, happy and healthy so far, and I'll catch you later.